Hello friends, once again welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to solve the question answers from the 8th standard science English medium from the part 1. The chapter name is the second chapter microorganisms friends and foe. Okay, let's start from the exercise part. The first main is fill in the blanks. Microorganisms can be seen with the help of a microscope. Blue, green, alga fix nitrogen directly from air and enhance fertility of soil. Third one, alcohol is produced with the help of yeast. Last one, cholera is caused by bacteria. Okay, the second main is, tick the correct answer. The first one is, yeast is used in the pro production of alcohol. The following is an antibiotic. Streptomycin, carrier of malaria causing protozoa is female anaphilus mosquito. The most common carrier of communicable disease is housefly. The breed or the sorry, the bread or idli duff rises because of growth of yeast cells. The process of conver conversion of sugar into alcohol is called fermentation. Now the third main is match the organisms in column A with their action in column B. These are all, these are all the organisms and these are the their actions column. Okay. The first one is bacteria causing cholera rhizobium fixing nitrogen lactobacillus setting of curd yeast baking of bread a protozoa causing malaria a virus causing aids this is about match the following. The next question is Can microorganism be seen with the naked eye? If not, how can then how can they be seen? The answer is the microorganisms cannot be seen with our naked eyes because they are very small in size. Some of these, such as fungus growing on bread, can be seen with a magnifying glass. Others cannot be seen without the help of a microscope. Next question is, what are the major groups of microorganisms? The answer is, microorganisms are classified on the basis of their size into four major groups. These groups are, the first one is bacteria, fungi, protozoa and some alga. The next question is, name the microorganism which can fix atmospheric nitrogen in the soil. The answer is rhizobium, clostridium and azotobacter. The next question is, write 10 lines on the usefulness of microorganism in our lives. Answer. Microorganisms are useful to us in many ways. For example, bacteria like lactobacillus convert milk into curd. Bacteria are also involved in the making of cheese. Acetobacter aceti is used for producing acetic acid from alcohol. Yeast is used in the commercial production of alcohol, wine and bakery products. Some specific microorganisms are helpful in manufacturing of antibiotics. Microorganisms act as a cleansing agent and decompose the waste products into manure. Dead or weakened microbes are used in the preparation of vaccines. Some bacteria fix atmospheric nitrogen and in increase soil fertility. Alga, yeast, fungi or bacteria 
may be used as an ingredient or a substitute for protein rich foods that are suitable for human or animal consumption some microorganisms are taken as probiotics that are believed to provide health benefits when consumed these are all the usefulness of microorganisms in our lives next question write a short paragraph on the harms caused by the microorganisms the answer Microorganisms are harmful to us in many ways. For example, microorganisms called pathogens cause disease in humans, plants and animals. Pathogens or germs enter a healthy body through air, water, contaminated food and infected person by direct or indirect contact or by the carrier. Common ailments like cold influenza means flu cough polio chickenpox are caused by viruses foot and mouth diseases in the cattle are also caused by viruses typhoid tuberculosis are caused by bacteria anthrax a dangerous human and cattle diseases is also caused by bacteria diseases like dysentery and malaria are caused by protozoa ringworm is caused by fungi several microbes causes diseases in plants and thus reduces the yield citrus canker a bacterial disease affects trees of citrus fruit and is spread by air bendy yellow vein mosaic disease is caused by a virus and is spread by insects in lady fingers rust of wheat is a fungal disease spread through air microorganisms that grow on our food sometimes produce toxic substances these make the food poisonous causing serious illness and even death this food born illness is called food poisoning probiotic supplements the last question is what are antibiotics what precautions must be taken while taking antibiotics answer antibiotics are the medicines which kill or stop the growth of the disease causing microbes they are manufactured by growing specific organisms they are used to cure a variety of diseases It is important to take antibiotic only on the advice of a qualified doctor. One must finish the course prescribed by the doctor to make the drug more effective. Antibiotics must not be taken unnecessarily because it may kill beneficial bacteria also. Antibiotics are however not effective against cold and flu as they are caused by viruses thank you friends thank you for watching my all the videos and supporting my channel thank you once again